people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we've got Help Wanted 2 finally releasing for Oculus Quest. YouTube's has revealed some highly anticipated FNAF movie products, and we've got our first look at a brand new game collaboration with FNAF. So that and so much more we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. If you are excited for all the FNAF news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. Listen, alright, I know a lot of you guys watch these FNAF news videos, but not all of you are subscribed, and we're this close to 100,000 subscribers so if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in FNAF and you want to help us get that much closer to that incredible milestone consider subscribing but with that exciting news out of the way let's now move on to some somber news and our first and only book news for today's video the ticket to fun ephemera kit which I still don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly that's been delayed for like the third or fourth time at this point it was supposed to release in October of 2023 but then got delayed to August of this year it then got delayed again to October of 2024, but now it just got delayed to September of 2025. It'll finally release on September 23rd, 2025, assuming it doesn't get delayed again because at this point it's been delayed by two full years it really makes you wonder what the heck kind of stuff are they putting into this kit that they need to keep delaying it and delaying it but moving on now to a fan favorite segment let's talk about hot topics brand new fnaf products and well there's only one for today's video and that is this brand new foxy plush backpack that actually looks pretty dang awesome as a plushie. They even gave Foxy a little pirate hook. I'm not sure why Hot Topic is so obsessed with these plushy backpacks recently, but this one looks incredible. But speaking of plush characters, let's move on to Hex because they just teased a brand new plushie. They released this photo of the FNAF 4 bed, and I think we all know what we gotta do. Brightening that sucker up, we get our first look at the upcoming Nightmare Yone Hex plushie. If you couldn't tell, this teaser is a direct reference to Don't Wake the Baby, a FNAF 4 teaser release for the Halloween edition. Thanks to Twitter compression and brightening up the image, it's a little hard to make out Nightmare Yone, but honestly, they look pretty damn perfect. But moving on now to YouTube's, they too have teased a whole bunch of upcoming products. First up, let's take a look at a brand new Moon Nightlight. This is U2's upcoming second FNAF Nightlight. Previously, we got a Sun Nightlight, so it only makes sense to do the Moon. Though, considering the Moon probably doesn't want to have the lights on, it's a little bit of a strange concept for this character, but again, you gotta complete the daycare attendant. The sculpt for this guy looks absolutely incredible. It also looks like he lights up pretty well. But then, in other strange U2's news, I feel like the more FNAF news videos we make, the more strange U2's is reveals get. To celebrate Star Wars Day on May the 4th, they released this teaser of a whole bunch of upcoming products in the form of that original Star Wars poster. And cosplaying as Princess Leia herself, we've got the Yellow Rabbit from the FNAF movie. Like I said, an interesting way to tease the figure, but I mean, the Yellow Rabbit is absolutely slaying. But if you were looking for a much better reveal of a William Afton FNAF movie figure, well, U2 still has you covered. Because thanks to U2's news, we got a full glam shot of their upcoming Steve Raglan figure. He's in his office at his desk on the phone with Mike for his first night at Freddy's. He's even got his little name tag, Steve Raglan, career counselor. Yeah, huh? Likely story, Steve. Honestly, I think this figure looks absolutely fantastic. I still can't believe we're getting two William Afton figures. Because keep in mind, there is also a yellow rabbit figure that will have a removable head. Presumably to reveal William Afton's head underneath the mask. The first FNAF movie wave releases next month in June. But we're not only getting figures. Because we're also getting plushies. And u just revealed a brand new FNAF movie plushie. That being Abby. Abby has been a long anticipated character to get not only a plushie, but also a figure that reportedly is coming in a second wave in September. But it looks like ahead of that figure for June, we'll be getting this plushie. And again, I think she looks perfect. So to recap for the first FNAF movie wave releasing in June, for figures, we've got Doug, we've got Mike inside of the Shreddy Faz chair. We've got Vanessa who got bumped up to wave one. We've got Steve Raglan. We've got the Yellow Rabbit. And then for plushies, we have Abby. We've got Mike. We also previously saw a Yellow Rabbit plushie. A Balloon Boy plushie is also also releasing in June, presumably that's based on the movie as well. Concept art for a Sparky the Dog plushie also was revealed not too long ago. And again, that's all for Wave 1. It seems like u is really going strong with these FNAF movie products. So what other FNAF movie characters and figures and plushies would you like to see in Wave 2 in September? But moving on now to some quick port news, FNAF 3 just got a brand new subtitle update on consoles. Not gonna read off the full change list because obviously there's a lot going on here. But if you do own FNAF 3 on any home consoles, I'd highly 
highly recommend getting this update, and a massive shout out to Click Team for delivering this FNAF 3 update to console players. But moving on to some very exciting game news, it seems like FNAF is finally collaborating with other games. Now unfortunately, it's not any of the popular options like Dead by Daylight or Fortnite or even Fall Guys if people are still playing Fall Guys. Instead, it's with Funko Fusion, a brand new four-player cooperative action-adventure game by 1010 Games. Think like Lego Dimensions, I guess, is the easiest comparison, where you get a whole bunch of characters and IPs and brands under one umbrella, that being their Funko Pop forums and they're inside of a video game. And it seems like each brand or the majority of brands have their own universes that you can explore. So you got like the Back to the Future land, you've got Jurassic Park land, and as it turns out, Five Nights at Freddy's and its characters are going to be included in Funko Fusion. You can even spot a Funko Pop of Freddy Fazbear on the cover art. Unfortunately, we've seen no gameplay of any FNAF area, so I'm not sure if it's just the FNAF characters in the game or if there's also an entire FNAF universe world that you can explore. But either way, this is a massive step for the FNAF franchise. If you guys remember, a few years ago, a lot of people were voicing their opinions that FNAF should be added to Fall Guys or Fortnite, like I mentioned earlier. But in a Reddit post, Scott shut all that down. So hopefully, Funko Fusion is only the start of FNAF collaborating with all these other games because like I said, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, I mean, I see those comments all the time. Funko Fusion releases September the 13th, and you bet we're gonna be playing it here on the channel. It's still just so weird to see Freddy Fazbear alongside characters like Marty McFly, and Chris Pratt from Jurassic Park, and Invincible, and Ramona Flowers. This is gonna be a crazy game, I cannot wait to play it. Hopefully FNAF has some pretty big representation in it. But moving on now to some very quick FNAF 2 movie news. Recently, MatPat was interviewed on the Wired YouTube channel, answering some of the most searched questions about him, and well, one of the questions was whether or not he'd be included in the upcoming FNAF 2 movie, and this is what he had to say. Will I be in the new FNAF movie? I don't know. Time will tell. My schedule's open, Scott. Now, thankfully, Ness was one of the few side characters that wasn't actually killed off in the film, so hopefully we can see his return. Previously, we do know that Markiplier was set to be in the first movie, but couldn't because he was filming and directing his own movie, Iron Lung. Though it seems like Scott would like Mark to be in the second movie, if possible, leaving a comment on his YouTube video. And with how excited everyone was to see Matt and Corey and all the other YouTubers in the film, here's to hoping we can get a few more in the second movie. But moving on now to our final news topic for today. Today, we got Help Wanted 2 finally releasing for MetaQuest. Leading up to the announcement, COO was tweeting out the eyes emoji and secretly updating their Help Wanted 2 YouTube playlist with a secret video. Everyone was speculating it's either Help Wanted 2 DLC or it's port announcements for Flat Mode or Oculus, and well, it turned out to be Oculus. And if you're confused, MetaQuest is basically just Oculus. It's because Facebook changed their name to Meta and blah blah, all that nerdy business stuff. But the other day, Steel Wool released a trailer for the port announcing it'd be released releasing on May the 9th, which should be today by the time you're watching this video, and later clarifying that Help Wanted 2 is supported on both MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest 3. So if you've been one of the people patiently waiting for Help Wanted 2 to be released on Oculus Quest, there you go, your time has finally come. Just like how it's my time to do an outro. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.